Yeah, hi there. This is uh, Kim Willis from Persuasion Pursuit, and uh, I've got a little video for you which I think you'll find interesting. And it's about uh, social proof, it's about engagement, it's about verification and validation, and testimonials. All of this, and, and, and really, the bigger topic is to do with uh, credibility and authority positioning. So if you've got a business or you're thinking of starting a business, credibility is important. And there are different ways to gain credibility, to, to win credibility, win the trust of your audience. Uh, certainly, certainly testimonials and case studies are very important. But here is another way to gain credibility. And it's by sh creating a blog adding regular content, when I say regular I mean once a week, not, not daily, and getting some interactivity happening on your blog. So it's not a dead blog, it's a live blog, a living, breathing organism. So that's it. So even if you don't have any case histories, customer case histories, or you don't have much in the way of testimonials, a blog that has uh, a good amount of engagement can give visitors, prospective clients and customers the social proof that they're hungry for. So enough of that, let's have a look at this. All right, so this is, this is my blog. I've only got four pages on this website. Now keep in mind, keep in mind that this website is a, is a new website, relatively new. It's only it only, uh, only, particularly the blog, only wrote, published the first blog post in September 13, 2015, and I'm recording this on the 21st of November, 2015. So, it's recent, and you'll see that there is not a huge number of posts. I've averaged about one a week. That's it, okay? The first one was an article called Your About Page Revamp. Now just have a look at this and see if you notice anything that's a little bit different to most blogs that you've probably seen before. There's something there. And it's not the headline, it's not the body copy. It's something at the extremity. Can you see what it is? It's this. Comments. A brand new blog with the first, with a brand new blog post, the first one for this particular site, there's 24 comments. Now, if you're like a lot of people who stumble across blogs, they'll look at this and then they compare it with their experience when they visit other blogs and they see zero comments. And these are blogs that are on maybe they're on dedicated blogger type plat uh, websites full-time bloggers you know building their blog or more more often maybe they've just you know they're looking to get a quote for a bathroom renovation makeover maybe they're looking for an accountant maybe they're looking for a lawyer and a lot of their a lot of these websites will have a blog, and quite often the blog will not be that not be very active at all. If uh, often they're not, there's no activity, and sometimes the blog uh, the last time a, a post was put up on the or published on the blog was months ago. So that's not a good sign. But the other thing that people look for is the engagement, and invariably these. Other blogs have zero engagement and people are looking for social proof. They're looking for uh, third party validation. And when they see that a blog post like this has got, like this has got 24 comments, admittedly, uh, some of those comments are from myself in, in response to people that have uh, visited and, and made a comment. And then when we, uh, the, you know, but ne nevertheless, people are impressed. 
And then when they they have a look at these comments, see what people are actually saying. Okay, there's a couple of admin things there. Now here is a here is a comment from a leading blogger called Donna Merrill. She she has a couple of different businesses, but she's active in the blogging community and. Look what she said. Wow, this sure has made me rethink things on my About Me page. I think, because this, this blog post was about that. How to optimize an About Me page, which is a fantastic topic, because most traditional businesses especially have very poor and boring and non-persuasive About Me pages. So this blog post was about how to change that. So she's come in with a really great comment there. And there's another lady, Linda, Linda Schreer. Uh, what a nice blog you have here. You visited my site and I thought I'd return the favor. Now there's a clue. That's how I got her to come back because I visited her site and left a comment. So the law of reciprocity kicked in here. And of course I follow up everyone's comment with a comment. This lady here, Adrian Smith, is a huge blogger. Um, she's got a huge following. She is quite a big name in the blogging community. She's left a great comment and on it goes. Different people and so on. So the point is that if you had a blog and number one, it had regular, relevant, quality content being posted once a week, that's all you need, once a week, and you had people engaging with you or whoever is running the blog for you making leaving nice comments will that impress prospective clients who visit your website and particularly your blog will it impress them absolutely no question about it it'll blow their socks off quite honestly it'll make them far more likely to want to do business with you than with someone else who doesn't have any of these attributes in place. Click the wrong one. Let's go back to the blog again. And just to show you that this wasn't a fluke or a one-off. Now, this particular blog this particular blog post is the uh, is the newest blog post. It was only put up yesterday. So I don't have any comments yet. But that will come. That will come through the next week or so. But look at my last one. That was published on the 13th of November. How to use a blog to give you instant credibility even if you don't have any now. Yeah, this was also a popular post of mine and uh, 27 comments. 27 comments. Lots of engagement. This is not a dead blog. Look, a blog is, having a, a properly functioning blog is one of the very best things that you can do to uh, grow your business, take it to the next level. Firstly, it, if it's done properly like this, you will get loads of credibility. So it, it, it acts as a conversion tool. People can see that you know what you're talking about. Okay, they, they start to get the feeling that, hey, this is the sort of business I'd like to be doing business with. And then when they see all this engagement, Okay, this one only had two, but I didn't, I didn't promote that. And that's one of the keys is to promote your content. I can show you how to do that, or we can help you do it. Okay, done for you. Um, business struggling, how to banish self-doubt, doubt and discouragement. Seventeen comments. This one here, twenty-nine comments. Simple selling tips for non-sales types, and on it goes. The point is that if you, if you're creating good relevant content you're going to get some credibility happening if you promote the content you're going to get more credibility because people some people are going to come and make a comment they're going to leave a comment so now your blog is no longer a dead blog it will be a living blog but not only that if you promote your content or you get someone to do it for you you are going to get traffic. 
So the strategy is to build credibility and build a following, build an audience. That's about traffic, isn't it? So we promote the content, we're going to get traffic, or you're going to get traffic. You're going to get more visitors visiting your site. Where do we promote the content? Well, we promote it on other relevant blogs, okay? Because people are, are looking there. You fish where in the pond where there are other fish, okay? Uh, we promote on social media sites, and we use all sorts of other techniques as well to promote the content. So we have visitors coming back to our blog, and then some of those visitors are going to, if you have an opt-in page, uh, an opt-in offer, a form for them to go onto your mailing list, okay? And you give them something that they might be interested in, free updates, it could be a free report, it could be, all, could be both. It, it could be um, a free report on a topic that is relevant to you and that will be interesting for your target audience. Then they get added to your list and then you can, then you can follow up with an, an automated email campaign. So two or three times a week, they get an email educating them about you your business, why you're different, why you're better. Okay? So, by the way, if you haven't yet filled out the form on my page, do it. And if you'd like to take advantage of my 30-minute free, no pitch, no selling consultation, you can just come here and book in, book in a call because we've got a scheduler here. So you just you just click click the link and you book in a call. You book in a 30 minute. We've even got preferred times, the times that I, I can, uh, that I allocate for this specific purpose. All right, so that gives you uh, an idea as to what you can do with a blog. If you've already got a blog and it's a dead blog, well, now you can turn it into a live living thing, a living blog, okay? So that gives you an idea as to what you can do, and if you have any more questions, you can, number one, sign on for free updates, and you can take advantage of that free 30-minute no-pitch call. All right, this is Kim Willis from Persuasion Pursuit. Bye for now.